Today we'll be looking at electrophiles. What are electrophiles? Electrophiles are substances which are electron deficient that can accept electron from an electron rich substance. I remember electrophile simply means electro plus file. In our philosophy, we call this philia, love. This is love. The full meaning of philia is love. Electro here simply stands for electron. That means an electrophile can also be called electron loving substance. Electron loving substance. Now, what can make you to love electron? Electron is negatively charged. A substance that will be in love with a negative charge should be a positive charge. Remember the law of nature, opposite charges attract. So for you to be in love with electron, which is a negative charge, it means you are a positive charge. So electrophiles are deficient of electron. They are lacking electron. So they will be attracted to a negative charge. That's why they are called electron loving substances. And for them to be in love with the electron, it means they are lacking electrons, so they will need to gain electron. Remember this, electrophiles are electron-loving substances which are deficient in what? Electron. And are capable of accepting electron from an electron-rich substance. Examples of electrophiles at this level are the Lewis acids. Lewis acids are good examples of electrophiles. And Lewis acids we have at this level are copper 2 ion, hydrogen ion, which you call the proton, aluminum trichloride, and boron trichloride. We can use only this for. There are many others. So these are examples of Lewis acids. And Lewis acids are good examples of electrophiles. Remember, they are electron deficient. Electrophiles, one of the things you used to know most of them is that they usually carry positive charges to show that they are lacking electron. Somebody that is positively charged is someone that lost electron. And when you lose electron, you are, you are lacking electron. You are electron deficient. So they are usually positive charges to show that they are lacking electron. They have lost electron. So these are electrophiles. Though we still have neutral compounds that can be called electrophiles, just like aluminum chloride and boron chloride. If I draw the structure of this, you will see what makes it an electrophile. But let me use this rough sketch to show you. In aluminum trichloride, this one, aluminum is the central atom. Why we have three chlorines surrounding it like this? Now, if I draw this, you discover that nothing is here. In this shell of aluminum, the outermost shell of aluminum has three electrons here. Now, three chlorines are to be bonded to it. One of the chlorines will stay here. The other chlorine stays here. The other chlorine stays here. Nothing is here. So this place is lacking electron. We can use this as an evidence to show that this is an electrophile because it is electron deficient. There is no electron here. The same applies to this. Don't forget this. Electrophiles are electron deficient substances which are capable of accepting electron from an electron rich substance. When electron is donated to them by a substance that has more electron, they are ready to accept. In the next video, we are going to explain the meaning and examples of nucleophiles. Thank you for watching and don't forget to please share with your friends and subscribe.